Hello, hello, everyone, and welcome to another sneak peek of our Heartfelt Harvest release coming up very soon. Hello, hello, everyone. I see everyone talking about the weather over there. It is hot here in South Carolina. Hello, Don. Welcome in, welcome in. Hello, Erica and Beth and Leanne, Shelly. Let's see, I know Lisa is over there. Michelle, hello, hello, everyone. Okay, we have got some fun sneak peeks for you tonight, and I'm going to do a little recap to start out with the uh, 3D embossing folder that I showed you last week, and then I'm going to get into some ink blending with some new uh, lovely layers, things that we all love uh, preparing for fall. Hello, everyone. I see Carol over there and Krista. Hello, hello. Okay, so without further ado, let's jump in because I'm going to have my fingers work into the bone tonight with some ink blending. Okay, so this is that 3D embossing folder. And if you remember, or this is the paper that we created, um, this is the back side of that. We did a little technique with that. Now, here is what the front side looks like. You can see all that great detail pressed into the paper with that beautiful fall embossing folder. This is just really dark navy cardstock that I uh, ran through my die machine. And then, of course, this is the, the card that we created last week with some messy ink blending. And then we did all kinds of just fun inky, messy backgrounds. Remember, this is the backside. And this is, let me see if I can get it in the light here. This is the messy, what would be like our front side that we normally use, you know, the positive and then the negative. And you can see even the negative side, you get all those pretty veins and stuff pressed into your paper. So really pretty embossing folder. This is our first little, little extra bonus sneak peek that I gave you last week. So let's jump in to this week's yummy goodness. You're going to get a look at some new layering die sets, plus some pattern paper, layering frames, all kinds of yummy goodness. So this is some new pattern paper in our Homestead Harvest paper pad. You can see this is very harvesty. Doesn't that look like, you know, grandma's feed sack dress or curtains or old fabric or something like that? And then if I flip it over, we just have a great basic that is like these little blue, little linen looking um, hash marks almost. And then we've got that creamy tan stripe in there. So I've got that pulled out. Now this is die cuts from our newest, let me get this uh, out of here from our newest layering frame set. And it is called the Fancy Fall Layering Frames. And if you are familiar with our layer, layering frames, then you know that there's everything from full A2 size, and then they kind of layer down and get, give you lots of yummy layers. Um, and of course, we're going to have all that great embossed detail around the edges. So let's look at this layer. You can see I've just cut it out of craft cardstock. You can see all that great detail that is pressed into the paper. And then my next layer is like this orangey kind of yellow cardstock that I pulled out to match that yummy pattern paper. And again, you have all that detail that's pressed into the paper. And then even in that layering frames uh, die set, there is a banner. And you can see I've used that banner in the layering frame set to stamp one of our new sentiments. And I stamped it. I put some gold embossing powder on that and then just used a little bit of Copic markers to go over some of those embossed lines. Look how that all just looks 3D, but this is totally flat, you guys. It just has so much great dimension going on. 
with all those little details that are pressed into that paper. Okay, so that gives a look at how I'm going to kind of build up my layers this evening. And then we have some yummy new die cuts, right? So we've got a little farm cart here that we're going to build. We have, and it's hard to see here in the, my bright lights, we have some fall bounty because we have to have something to kind of put around the cart. And it's going to be easier to see these when I start getting them inky. But we've got gourds, we've got pumpkins, we have the little tops to the pumpkins. And then we've got a bale of hay and we've got all kinds of yummy fall goodness, even little leaves. I'm going to start out this evening with the little farm cart. It's a layering cart. And of course, this is going to have great detail uh, pressed into it as well. Like, uh, like it looks like little wood slats and has the wood grain pressed into it. And some of these little pieces, I'm going to keep like the craft cardstock. And then some of them I'm going to ink darker to give them that really um, fun kind of wood look. And let's see here. I want to do the outside of the wheels. And you guys are getting a firsthand look here. I have not built this little farm cart yet. And I'm trying to decide here like how... I want to do this and how I want to ink blend it. Let's see here. Okay. All right. So I'm going to start out with some of it. I'm going to do gathered twigs. It's just like that medium kind of a brown. And then I also have pulled out my walnut stain to darken up some areas of the cart. You can see that I'm starting out with a craft cardstock. So it's going to make it super easy. I've got my blending brushes here, and then I think I want to do the base of the cart or the little, um, what do you call that? The, the cart part that holds all of our goodies. I think I'm going to do that and gather twigs first. I have a grip mat on the underside of this, so it's going to hold all those little details and die cuts into place. And I'm going to go over this and I want this to look rustic. I don't want it to be perfect. And so some areas are going to be darker. Some areas are going to be lighter. And I think that looks pretty good like that. There's even the little handle in some areas of the country, like where I grew up, we call these goat carts. They're like the little bitty um, like maybe bigger, bigger than a wheelbarrow, but not as big as like a, um, a big trailer or something like that. We call them goat carts. What do you guys call them? Like in your neck of the woods? I'd, I'd love to know because Lisa and Melissa thought I was a little crazy when I was like, oh yeah, that's a goat cart. It's, you know, people nowadays put them on their front porch full of you know, pumpkins and different things like that. Now I'm going in with that walnut stain. I wish this little puppy, maybe I just need to press harder. Um, what do you call, let's see here. Um, okay, let's see here, wagon. I see wagon, really need a grip mat. This is the biggest one, I believe, that they have. And I pulled out a big one because I knew we would be doing lots of die cuts tonight. Let's see. Let me pull it towards me a little bit. And for whatever reason, let me make sure I'm pressing all my little things down. There we go. Let's see. Utility cart, utility cart, a garden cart. Oh, that's a cute name too. Garden cart. Maybe it's because I'm from the South that we call them goat carts. I don't know. Or maybe, you know how families just have like weird names for things? Maybe my family just has a weird name for it. Goat carts. We're going to have to Google. We're going to have to ask Google about that. Okay, so we've got gathered twigs here. We've got darker parts with the walnut stain. 
Let me see. I'm going to make the wheels a little bit darker, like a go-kart. Let's see here. Um, yeah. Yeah, goat, like as in the animal. So I don't know if a long time ago, like, Farmers use goats to pull these, maybe? Not sure. Not sure about that. Okay. You know what else I want to make a little bit darker is the baling wire that goes around the hay bale. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stick it down too. And I think I want to do this in, I mean, you could do it in a silver even, I think I'm going to do, let's do walnut stain. I'm going to do it really dark. So it kind of shows up a donkey cart. Let's see here, maybe. And then she said, just show, it could be a donkey cart. I guess you could use whatever you wanted to, to pull it. But we thought farm cart for the name was a safe bet. Okay. All right. So now I am going to pick up all of my little die cuts and I'm going to put them aside and then we can build everything all at one time. I'm going to use my tweezers just here to pick this up. And isn't it funny that we're getting ready? We're jumping into like fall crafting, but it's still a hundred degrees here. It is hot in South Carolina. And I know Lisa and Carol are in Texas and it's hot. And I even saw, I think Lori way up in Washington state said that it was um, like 90 something degrees, even in Washington state. Okay. So, hay, a bale of hay. So I've got my little bale of hay here and you can see this is the base. And then we've got all of the little scruffy stuff you know, the little twigs and pieces that can kind of hang out the sides to, um, you know, we have to have like a proper bale of hay. So I'm going to use scattered straw and then antique linen, I think, to kind of differentiate between the two colors. So I'm going to do scattered straw on let me kind of move here i'm going to do that on the big bottom half of our bale of hay so i'm just going to rub that on just like so and you notice some of my die cuts are on white paper and then some are craft cardstock. So, and of course you could also do this with, um, you know, colored cardstock and just start out with yellows and oranges and whatever floats your boat and make it easy and not do any ink blending. Okay. These I'm going to do antique linen and let's see if this is even going to show up the way that I want it to show up. So I want it to be kind of a little bit more of a brownie kind of straw color. And we're experimenting with ink tonight. So let's see here. I'm going to do this number and I'm going to put it over the top. What do we think? Do we like this or do we need to go a little more like, I may blend like some gathered twigs onto that and darken it up just a hair. Isn't that the fun with ink is we can make it look and blend and do whatever we need it to do. Okay, so this is my gathered twigs dirty brush. And I'm just going to kind of deepen this up just a hair with what's left on the brush. Just kind of like so. Do you see how like, now these two are a little bit darker than this one? Let's deepen it up and I can even kind of, you know, zhuzh this a hair. Okay. Now let's see here. 
So these are going to kind of go like so, and then like so, and then another one. And that's going to be like a big, male, messy bale of hay. And then, of course, we're going to tie it all together with our, you know, baling wire that we have here. Okay, do you see how this is all going to come together when we get everything glued down? Okay, gently tap on top of darker color for a speckle. Ooh, you could totally speckle. We, could, we should try to speckle, huh? Let's see if I can speckle. Let me lay these back out. Let me put it right up there. Okay, this is my walnut stain, and I'm just going to kind of pounce. Just a little. I don't want to rub hard because I know it will get really dark. There we go. Oh, now some of it is darker and some of it is lighter. And then we've got our really dark, like bailing wire or whatever you want to call that over the top. I think that's going to be cute. Okay, so I'm going to pick up all this and try not to lose any of my little pieces of my hay. But can you imagine this even like not necessarily in the cart, but like off to the side, you know, stacked with pumpkins or gourds on the top. I mean, so many cute little things we can do. I've just got all kinds of fun ideas running through my head. All right, so let's do a cleanup. And I'm going to grab, I've got another little sticky here and this one is much stickier than the other one okay now we're gonna do gourds and pumpkins okay so let's do that let's do that and that and let me see here hold hang with me just for a second And let's see if that's like not as bright. I'm trying to turn the brightness down so you guys can see all the little details in it. Do you see all the little, you know how gourds and pumpkins have all those little nubby knots and warts and all that kind of fun stuff. I wish that you guys could see that like, like I see it on my screen. Okay. All right. So... All right, let's look here. So I've got some other colors. Let's do, I think this little pumpkin, I want to do like a, what do they call those? Like a princess pumpkin or something like that, where they use like blues and greens. And so I've got my speckled egg brush. Let me get them turned here. I've got my peeled paint brush. And I think I'm going to do like some speckled egg right around the top like so and then my green brush and I'm just going to kind of barely blend those two together and so the bottom half of it is a little more, let me pull this up. Okay, do you see what now and all those little details in there? And of course you can take your colored pencil or whatever you want to that and add in those little details. I usually do that. Okay, so my little gourds, I think I wanna do green. And I'm going to do the peeled paint there. And then the this is my rustic wilderness. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of pull down. So cute. Okay, now let me pull him up so we can kind of look at it. And see that little gourd with all his little warts and lines and so cute. Okay, now we've got a, another little gourd here. See all the yummy detail on that? Maybe my lights are too bright. One of these days, I'm going to get all this um, situated and worked out. Okay, so let's do let's do maybe a peeled paint over in this area. And then let's do some scattered straw for a little bit of yellow. Okay, see all his yummy little details in there? He almost looks like a pickle or a cucumber or something like that. Okay, he's going to be cute. And they've all got little tops too, so we don't want to forget that. Okay, now... Crackling campfire. I'm going to make this guy a little bit more like a traditional, like your orange pumpkin. So I'm going to do crackling campfire, which is pretty deep and rich and dark down here towards the bottom. Like so. And then this is going to be, let me find it. Um, what color is this? Wild honey. So this is more of that kind of dirty orange that I'm going to pull down in the top. Of course, you could use like your carved pumpkin. I didn't want it just super bright orange. So that's why I pulled in the... Um, The Crackling Campfire and the Wild Honey. Okay. Now, let me pull this up. See all his little details? I'm going to set him aside. Okay, and now we're going to do just a few leaves. So these leaves and then all the little pumpkins and gourds and things, these are all from Fall Bounty is the name of the die set. Because I know, and I'm just going to go to town and do like fall colors. So green. Let's do some oranges. And this is all craft. Let's do a little orange on the tips right there. Let's do some orange here. Okay, and then I'm gonna pull in the scattered straw. Let me see, let me back this up just a little bit. A little bit of yellow. And I think I'm even going to pull in my rustic wilderness and deepen up some of the green just a little bit. Let's hit the edges. And just blend all those pretty fall colors like all together. Okay, let's see how we're looking here. like that and another one and another one okay all right let's see here okay let me brighten it up just a hair i'm adjusting as we go here so okay now we're gonna build we're gonna build all of our little die cuts so I've got our cute little cart and I'm going to start building all the little pieces for it. Okay, so I've got my liquid adhesive. And I am going to start with the little wheels. And there's one 
portion that has like the spokes in it. And then there's another that goes over the top so you can change the colors, you know, and have the, your little spokes a different color. So I'm going to adhere these right down. Cute. And before I get too far, because I get too busy crafting, I want to add my little crossbar. And I'm going to slip it in right here. Come on. Here we go. There we go. Okay, so we've got that little crossbar. Let me go just a hair right there. And then we've got our darker little wheels. And I'm just going to add little dots here and there. And those are going to go right over the top. And I'm going to hold that so that liquid adhesive has a chance to kind of grab hold. And the same thing, I'm going to grab hold. Don, uh, you are, you are just the master, Don, and I am fast and furious. Don, I know those of you in the chat have seen Don, whether you know it or not, she is the master behind W plus nine and she is a master at a lot of things. She is a awesome watercolorist. She's an awesome ink blender. And let's see here. Do I, you know what? I'm going to have to do surgery. Okay. So see Dawn, this is what we do. Um, but Dawn does live streams and what is so cool live streams and videos but what is so cool is she is mixing like her awesome um w plus nine stuff plus she'll use honeybee stuff i love when she pulls out like our um bird layering birds and things like that and she does magical things with all of our die cuts and all the things, but she is good. So if you haven't watched Dawn, make sure you check out her videos. Plus, Dawn, you need to put in the chat there your Facebook group where you go live sometimes. That's where I catch you and watch you live sometimes because I know everybody would enjoy um, watching that. Okay. I forgot to ink blend my little wheel cover situation here. And so I'm going to, let's see here. I'm going to take this and I'm just going to pop these on here. If I can get them picked up. But not only is Dawn an awesome crafter, but she's really sweet as well. So that isn't that always nice that when you watch people and see their videos and buy their products or whatever, they're nice people on top of it. So 
that's always the icing on the cake. Okay, and so I can add this to my little wheel. I think you could even put, like if you got really fancy, you could even put a little brad in there and the wheels might turn. I bet you. Okay, let's see here. I've been a, a, a long time Dawn fan. Yeah, me too. I have W plus nine stuff in my stash along with, um, you know, lots of other things when she had inks and all, all the good stuff. So um, my, I, I'm a, a fan as well. Okay, so our little bale of hay here, it's time to build it up. I'm going to take all the little parts off. And then I know that this little guy, he goes across the center. So this is just going to be easy because we're going to do. Let's see here. Uh, a newer Dawn fan, but I got a shout out from the rooftop. Yes, Brandon. I wish... I could watercolor, like watercoloring is not my forte, and she really is like a master. Okay, this one goes right across the center, so about, about there, and then there's two of these little spiky pieces that we can add in, and I'm just going to do a dab like right along the edges because I kind of want that to look messy and so I'm going to let it kind of grab. Oops. And then I'm going to actually kind of flip up the little wispy straw edges just a little bit. And then this guy. I'm going to do the same thing on this one. I just, just subscribed to Dawn's YouTube channel. Woohoo! Yes. You should. And the same thing, I can kind of get my glue going down here where my fingers are and then add you know, all my little stray straw bits. Okay, now I'm gonna take the baling twine or baling wire, depending on how old or how long ago, I should say. And that's gonna fit right across like so. I'm gonna actually pick this up so I can just kind of make sure everything is shimmied into place. And then see, I can take my little straw pieces and make them a little messy. Okay, now let's see what this is gonna look like. Like if we tuck it in like so. Okay, look how cute that is. Oh my goodness. Or, you know, you could have a little scene going on here and have your little bale of hay. So cute. All right, so I'm going to set this little guy right there. All right, now let's do our little gourds and pumpkins. And they have little toppers. Little, um, what do you call those? The stem, they have little stems that go on them. Okay, so I'm going to grab a stem and I cut these out of craft and I'm gonna just going to leave them um, the craft cardstock. Okay, and I'm just going to keep grabbing here and go right along. And I think you could probably, let me see what I've got here to make sure. 
think that you could probably totally like mix and match these. Like I don't think that this size goes on this little princess pumpkin, but we're going to make it, we're going to make that one have a fat little stem. And then we've got this little stem. And that's going to fit right on this funny looking little goosenecked gourd. Oh my gosh, that's so dang cute. Look at that. Is that not the cutest little thing you've ever seen? Okay, and then we've got this little guy. Okay. And let's see, what time is it? 36. Okay. All right. Hold, please. I'm going to grab my colored pencils because I think we've got time. Let me find them first. Oh, they're right here on my desk, right where I needed them. I think I've got time to add a few little details in. Okay, let's see here. All right, so our big fat orange pumpkin, I think I need to add some, maybe this burnt orange pencil here. And I'm going to go, I always cheat. So use the lines that are already pressed into the paper. You know, there's no reason to reinvent unless you just want to get super fancy. But I always just kind of cheat. And so all of these little lines that I am adding color on, they're already in, they're already pressed into the paper. So all I'm doing with my colored pencil is just making those little embossed areas just pop right out of there. And it's just, you know, all the fun little details like that. Down here, there's some little nubs and warts. And that's what's so fun about this little set is we specifically didn't want them to be like perfect pumpkins. We want them to be, you know, like you see at the pumpkin patch or at the farmer's market or, you know, Trader Joe's or wherever you like to go grab your little pumpkins. And then let's see here. We can add just a little bit in there to his little stem. Look at that. Okay, now let's have some fun with these funny little gourds. I'm going to take like an olive green and these are so funny. You know, they're almost, you know, when you see them in the fall, they're almost so ugly. They're cute. All the little gourds and things. And little nubs and nooks and crannies. like that kind of come down here a little bit down its little neck look at that and then let's take the same kind of brown and I'm just gonna add just a hair like that see what we've got going so far okay so here's this funny little guy and I'm gonna do let's do maybe a yellow like a mustardy yellow this one has a lot of warts on him is that what you call those on a gourd do you call the little nubs are they little warts little you know like on a cucumber and And 
and then I can take maybe um, I want to darken him up just a little bit. Like so. He's funny. Okay. And then we've got this little princess pumpkin that I think I'm going to do that kind of maybe turquoisey and kind of go with that bluish green kind of theme that we had going on with this one. And then maybe a brown. Okay. All right. And in this, I have to say, in the fall bounty die set, it's not just this four. Um, there are more pieces to this. There are more gourds and more pumpkins in that die set. I just pulled out a few to add to my little cart. Okay, now we're ready to build a card now because we've got all of our little pieces. Okay, I'm in love with the gooseneck gourd. I know. Isn't he adorable? Those reminds me, it reminds me of um, like down in the south here, people take those and will create like bird houses and uh, things like that with those. That's what it kind of reminds me of. I used to have even a, a, um, a uh, gourd that was dressed up like a snowman, you know, that I found probably at some kind of little craft market or craft fair or something like that. I'm just taking my dirty brush and kind of aging this die cut around the edges just a little bit because we're going for, you know, a little rustic farm like that. Okay. So that's going to go around there. See how that just kind of aged it up a little bit. And then we've got this little piece and you can see all those pretty little details. Let me see if I can get it to show. One of these days, I'm going to get my little studio lighting and everything all worked out. But it's beautiful. Very, very beautiful. And I'm wondering if I should age this one as well. Why not, right? Just around that embossed area. Okay. See how it kind of makes it pop just a little bit? Nothing fancy. There we go. All right. And then we've got our little Happy Autumn banner. And then we're ready to add everything. Okay. So I'm going to start by, I just have a card base that I thought would be pretty to pull out kind of this turquoisey blue out of the stems and the leaves. And remember, this is from our new pattern paper pad, which is absolutely gorgeous, by the way. All right. Let's get that. And I'm going to press that into place and kind of hold it still. Doesn't that look like old fabric or something? Like an old dress or an apron, something like that. Okay. And then we've got this little guy. Let's see here. I'm trying to think. I think I'll add him. Do I want to pop it up? Hmm. Why not? All right, let's see how you wallpaper. Yes, I'm dying to know what all comes with those gourds and pumpkins. Um, it's called Fall Bounty is the name of the die set. And um, 
It has gourds, pumpkins, leaves. These leaves are in that set. Um, and the pumpkins and the gourds are different sizes. So without giving too much away, I can tell you that for this card, I pulled out the smaller of the gourds and the pumpkins to um, go in my little, or go around my little cart. So that kind of gives you a little bit of a hint. Okay, so that little thing has popped up, that layer. I think this I'm going to add flat because we're going to add our cute little cart and everything over the top of it. So I can just kind of pop this down and wiggle it into place. And this layering frame set is called Fancy Fall Layering Frames. And there's a lot of beautiful little pieces in that die set. Okay. All right, so we've got that. All right, now we get to start having fun here with our little hay. We've got our little cart that I can kind of do like so. And then we've got our little pumpkins and gourds and leaves. I'm just kind of getting a feel for kind of where I put it. I could stack them. on the hay bale or I could put them around by the little tires too. But see how dang, oh, that's kind of cute like that. Look at that. And then, you know, I could add my happy autumn here. I could add it down in here. I could shift. Pretty cute. Okay. I'm kind of liking the pumpkins and the gourds stacked on the hay bale like that. So I think I'm going to run with it. And I'm going to just add a dab of adhesive. And you guys have to remember this today, what you guys are seeing me, you're seeing me experiment. This is the very first time I have not practiced. I have not played with this die set. So when you see me kind of arrange and rearrange and try to figure out, you guys are seeing it for the first time. So I'm going to stick that down and then I'm going to flip it real fast so I can kind of figure out like where I want my cute little hay bell and then I can kind of squeeze it in where I want it all to go and kind of slide around. But I like that the hay and all these little things are kind of separate. So if you want to use the hay on a different card, you know, you can do that. That's pretty. Down there. I think I'm going to have to cross over the wheels just a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to add liquid adhesive right down here just a little bit. I could pop it up, but okay, and let's I get that kind of like so. And hold that down. Let me make sure we're all nice and straight here. Okay, and then I think I'll probably do something along those lines. I don't know. Of course, I could have chosen a smaller sentiment, but I was having so much fun with that layering frame set that I said, oh, what the heck. Okay, so, oh, let's pop this guy up. So I'm going to kind of nestle it in the hay 
like that. So it kind of looks like they're all just kind of tucked and nestled in there and setting in our little farm cart. But you could totally fill your cart with nothing but little cute gourds and pumpkins and leaves. But I was so excited to create the bale of hay that I had to add the hay too. I'm going to put this guy, kind of nestle him back in here a little bit. And then we'll do our little princess pumpkin or Cinderella pumpkin. I think that's what it's called, Cinderella pumpkin maybe. Like that and then I can add in some little leaves I'm just gonna nestle them about let's see here I may need to work on him I'm going to bend these around kind of get some movement in them let's see here you love Sandy look that is exactly what I'm doing Sandy is I'm playing you're exactly right is I'm just trying to fiddle and figure out like where everything's gonna go okay Look at that. Okay. This little guy, he turned a little brown on me. I'm going to take my, my rustic wilderness brush and I'm just going to ink the heck out of it on that end and then add some crackling campfire on the other end because he, uh, that, I think it was that, um, scattered straw turned a little, brown looking on me and I I didn't like it on the background okay let's see here I think this little guy maybe we need one like kind of tucked in just hair a little bit I think that's kind of cute okay and now our sentiment I gotta quit playing let's do just a little pop up here with some of our little dots Right. Let's see here. Q Kelly, the uh, the carrots and the veggies. Oh, totally. The carrots and the veggies. And you know, I have to tell you, we've got some other vessels coming out in this release that this stuff is going to be cute in as well. Um. So just you know, keep your eyes peeled. Let's see here. And how do I want? to stretch this across. I think I'm going to go kind of right across there like that. And then I'm going to call it good. And see this little guy, my little cart handle. Now that I've got everything kind of situated, I can kind of tuck him down. All right, do you see all the little fun? And it looks rustic with the little ink blending. I don't know if that's coming across on camera. Let me go just a little bit. You guys are going to see my messy desk here. And right, if I tilt it back and forth. But you see how rustic that turned the paper around the edges and the even it's not such a bright orangey paper underneath. It is adorable. Okay, so I'm going to go and I'm going to do a split C here. All right, and I'm going to look at your comments. What do you guys think about our 
um, fall bounty is all the little gourds and pumpkins and leaves. And then, we, of course, we've got our cute little farm cart and the little bale of hay. I'm going to have to do another card with a bale of hay because I kind of covered my hay up with all my cute little gourds and pumpkins. And then, of course, we have our fancy fall layering frames. And, of course, you're going to be seeing this sentiment in a stamp and sentiment set. I just borrowed it here for my little autumn card. And, of course, we can't forget our beautiful pattern paper, too, that looks like uh, fabric or curtains or um, whatever. Wallpaper, somebody mentioned. This card turned out so cute. I love how... Uh, rustic it is and all that dimension and all those fun little bits and pieces so pretty so so pretty let's see here it looks great i love the fall bounty die cuts yes can't wait to see the rest of the release it's so so good so the release will go live on all uh, are we in august august the 25th and so uh, you'll be seeing um, live streams and then we'll start our little sneak peek videos that we do on YouTube and you'll start seeing stuff from our design team members and stuff like that. So you're always going to see everything first here on our lives. We share it first here with all of you guys that hang out with us. And so I hope that you'll come back. Our next live stream will be this Wednesday at the same time and same place. We'll have a brand new sneak peek. You never know what's down here in my magic bucket full of fall goodness. So I hope you'll come back and join me. And then it is time right now for Lisa to do our giveaway. I have talked your ear off for almost an hour. So thanks for hanging out with me tonight. All right, so Lisa's going to give us our giveaway winner. And I'm just going to wait for her to pull that up for us. Magic bucket. It is the magic bucket. The magic container down here. <clears throat> Thank you, Rachel. You're so sweet. Yes. All right. So our winner tonight is Zan Wild. I love that name. Zan, you are our winner. So if you will email me at Kelly, K-E-L-L-E-Y, at honeybeestamps.com to claim your prize. And every time it is almost time for a release, I say you guys are our winner, winner, chicken dinner, because you can spend your gift card now, or it's a perfect time to hold on to it until the release. So Zan, if you'll email me, that would be awesome. Thank you all so much for joining me this evening for a little look at our heartfelt harvest. It's a tongue twister uh, sneak peek tonight. I'll see you on Wednesday and I hope to see you back. Bye friends. Thanks for joining me tonight.